If something went wrong with your heart, would you know it? Not all heart problems come with clear warning signs. There is not always an alarming chest clutch followed by a fall to the floor like you see in movies. Some heart symptoms don't even happen in your chest, and it's not always easy to tell what's going on. That's especially true if you are 60 or older or overweight or have diabetes, high cholesterol, or high blood pressure. The more risk factors you have, the more you should be concerned about anything that might be heart-related. It's the most common sign of heart danger. If you have a blocked artery or have a heart attack, you may feel pain, tightness, or pressure in your chest. Everyone has a different word for that feeling. Some people say it's like an elephant is sitting on them. Other people say it's like a pinching or burning. The feeling usually lasts longer than a few minutes. It may happen when you're at rest or when you're doing something physical. Also, keep in mind you can have heart problems, even a heart attack, without chest pain. That's particularly common among women. Some people have these symptoms during a heart attack. They may even vomit. Women are more likely to report this type of symptom than men. Of course, you can have an upset stomach for many reasons that have nothing to do with your heart. It could just be something you ate. But you need to be aware that it can also happen during a heart attack. So if you feel this way and you're at risk for heart problems, let a doctor find out what's going on, especially if you also have any of the other symptoms on this video. Another classic heart attack symptom is pain that radiates down the left side of the body. It almost always starts from the chest and moves outward. But there may be some patients who have mainly arm pain that turned out to be heart attacks. Left arm pain is one of the most common symptoms of a heart attack. The nerves that branch from the heart and those coming from the arm send signals to the same brain cells. As a result, the brain cannot isolate the source of the pain. This phenomenon, called referred pain, explains why a person experiencing a heart attack might feel arm pain without having chest pain. A lot of things can make you lose your balance or feel faint for a moment. Maybe you didn't have enough to eat or drink, or you stood up too fast. But if you suddenly feel unsteady and you also have chest discomfort or shortness of breath, call a doctor right away. It could mean your blood pressure has dropped because your heart isn't able to pump the way it should. By itself, throat or jaw pain probably isn't heart-related. More likely, it's caused by a muscular issue, a cold, or a sinus problem. But if you have pain or pressure in the center of your chest that spreads up into your throat or jaw, it could be a sign of a heart attack. If you suddenly feel fatigued or winded after doing something you had no problem doing in the past, like climbing the stairs or carrying groceries from the car, make an appointment with your doctor right away. These types of significant changes are more important in diagnosing heart attack than every little ache and pain you might be feeling. Extreme exhaustion or unexplained weakness, sometimes for days at a time, can be a symptom of heart disease, especially for women. It's normal to snore a little while you snooze. But unusually loud snoring that sounds like a gasping or choking can be a sign of sleep apnea. That's when you stop breathing for brief moments several times at night while you are still sleeping. This puts extra stress on your heart. Your doctor can check whether you need a sleep study to see if you have this condition. Breaking out in a cold sweat for no obvious reason could signal a heart attack. If this happens along with any of these other symptoms, get to a hospital right away. This could be a sign that your heart doesn't pump blood as effectively as it should. When the heart can't pump fast enough, blood backs up in the veins and causes bloating. Heart failure can also make it harder for the kidneys to remove extra water and sodium from the body, which can lead to bloating.